Hello and welcome back to UiPath Expo Hub. Myself Rakesh. Today we are going to see another chapter of asset and this is a practice example. Okay, so please do like all the videos that you're watching in UiPath Expo Hub. And if you have got any comments or what you felt about the video, please let us know. So today for the practice, we are going to see how do you see the value of the asset and how do you modify the asset. So here is the practice exercise for you. Uh, let me read that for you what you have to do. So please pause the video and then read the requirement and then try to build uh, the entire workflow on your own and then you can continue to watch the video as to see what I have done. So the question here is you have to create a new asset in the orchestrator uh, which is an integer type and name it as daily withdrawal limit okay and assign a value as 20,000 so you will create an asset and assign a value as 20,000 and then you have to give a input dialog box which would have two options one check current withdrawal limit and second one change the current withdrawal limit so uh, the asset what you have created it has a default value called 20,000 as the daily withdrawal limit so if somebody wants to see that, if he is choosing the first option, it should get the asset value and show it on the message box. And the second one, if he is choosing to change the withdrawal limit, then it should go to orchestrator and change it automatically. So how do you design that workflow? We need to see. So current value of the asset and the second one is to modify the asset. So let's see how to do that. As I said, please pause the video and try to do it on your own. And then you can continue to watch it in case you need any kind of help. So let's get started. So the very first thing I will do, I will go to orchestrator, click on assets and create an asset. So I'll click on the plus sign. And here I will give a name to the asset. So daily withdrawal limit. Okay, that is my name. And it has to be the type integer type. And the value is supposed to be 20,000 as per the requirement. Okay. And then click on create. So now you will see the asset value has been created. One thing to remember guys while you do this. Ensure the folder here sometimes it might be checked as shared. So ensure do not utilize the shared option. This would not work. So ensure you have selected it to default. Okay. So in case it has changed by somehow. Ensure this has been changed back to default or else you will get an error. It will not be able to recognize the asset name. Okay. Remember this key point. So once the asset is created, I'll go back to UI path. And the first thing I will use is input dialog box. And here I will say daily withdrawal limit, right? So I'll put that daily withdrawal limit. All right. And then here, I have to give two different options so I have to choose this and as you know how to design this you have to put two curly braces and the first thing you have to do is you have to say one dot within double quotes so first option is um, check the current or check the daily withdrawal limit daily withdrawal limit okay this is my first option after that you have to give a comma hit enter and again put double quote here you can write the second one which is change the daily with drawal limit okay close it so this is the format guys so once i do this my input uh, dialog box is ready so in case you want to just try this out how it is appearing you can always check it so the moment i run it it should give me two options daily withdrawal limit on the top and the first option check the daily withdrawal limit second option change the daily so one is to see the other one is to change okay now whatever output comes let's say whatever custom is you know selecting i'll create a variable control plus k and i will save this as input as the variable okay a variable with the same name input already exists let me see that let me delete all the previously created variables so what i will do control plus k and say input okay so the variable got created after that the next thing i have to use is a if condition right so i'll use a if below this and here i have to say if the input 
input is my variable is equals to what is my first condition remember while doing this select it go to options and here copy the exact way okay if there is a small mistake then it won't work so i will copy it from here and i am going to paste it here so small space also become a problem so check the daily withdrawal limit now to check the daily withdrawal limit if the condition match then it, it will come to then box right so for that i will use the activity called get asset okay so get asset is the activity which will go to the that asset and get you the value so here it asks for the asset name on the right hand side go to orchestrator and copy the value exactly the way it is written copy it and come over here put a double quote and paste it that simple it is okay so this is done after that whatever the value is it should get downloaded to this output right so control plus k and here the value should get downloaded so what i will do here i'll simply create a variable let's say op or output whatever you want so i've created a variable called output now if i want to see the message what is the value i have to show it to the customer right so use a message box put it here and i am simply saying op so for get asset when you are creating a control plus k and creating the output variable what happens you will see it automatically get created as string so the value over there is an integer type and the output has come a string so let's see whether it works or not let me run it so i have not designed the right portion of it i have just designed the first option so i need to check so you have to check it it is giving me the value okay so that does the automatic conversion you don't have to worry about it okay so get asset is working fine now the second uh, requirement was if somebody has to change the value okay so to change the value what i have to do i have to ask the customer right what is the new value so i'll use an input dialog box here and here i will ask him enter the new value okay and here i will create a in on the right hand side i'll create a whatever is entering it should get stored in the right so this is the user input isn't it so control plus k and create a new variable called user input so the new input whatever comes as the user input if you see the variable you know by default it got created a string but the value it is an integer type value right so ensure you have selected the integer otherwise you will get an error message so this you have selected as integer 32 very good and then below this what we want we want to set the value into the orchestrator without going there okay so for that there is an activity called set asset activity so i'll just drag and drop it here set asset okay i'll drag and drop and here in the set asset highlight this on the right hand side again you have to put the uh, the asset where you want to set the value again the asset has to be put in the double quotes done so the uh, asset name has been put now the value so the value is coming from the user input right so he is entering a new value so that gets storing in this output variable so i'll use that variable over here in the values field i will simply say user input because that's a variable okay so that way whatever is custom is entering that will get carried to the orchestrator automatically without me interfering so let me save it and try to run this okay so so let me tell you um, there is a role that you have to set this set asset will not work just like that okay you will get a error um, you know it will not be able to change uh, the value so to uh, get rid of that kind of an error what you do you go to orchestrator okay and then scroll down you will find something called uses click on uses on the right hand side on the top if you see there is something called roles so click on the roles okay and then uh, your robot whatever your robot name is highlight your robot and then here you have something called more actions right and click on edit okay so when you edit this um, on the folder permission if you go to folder permission it has got something called asset so by default this will not be checked for you all you do is check this and click on save okay so you'll get a warning uh, review warning so click on review warning and it will get saved okay remember this point okay you have to put a check mark so once you give this permission to your robot okay once the permission is given to your robot now you should come back to your ui path going forward it will be able to change any kind of asset value 
remember that okay so this is done now let me quickly run it and see if my value is working or not so this time i'm selecting the second option change the daily withdrawal limit let's say from 20000 i want to make it to 30000 so i have made it to 30000 and i clicked on okay so what happened so uh, it, it it has completed so that means it has changed it to see that you can go to orchestrator you can go to assets and here you can see the value has come as 30000 okay now if you run this uh, workflow once again and uh, select the first option now right check the daily withdrawal limit it will show the new value now getting it so this is how this is the practice for assets so if you understand these two activities i think that will be a great thing thank you for watching guys please do like the videos please do uh, comment and let us know whether you like the video or not uh, please do comment uh, your viewpoints uh, that is very wonderful to read them please do you know uh, go to comment section and type few words for us thank you very much you guys have a wonderful day